Roll 650 live front. And so what we got here is I got to the machine, I opened it up, and I found, as a matter of fact, down here in the bottom, that we actually had a couple of the relays loose here. So a Roll 650 actually works off of a refrigeration relay. There is an electronic thermostat. Some Roll 650s have a manual thermostat, but most of the ones out there that were originally designed to be a soft drink vending machine will have an electronic thermostat. So how the compressor is turned on by the control board is done by these relays. So this is actually a relay here, and this is another relay. And looking closely, these relays actually are 24 volt. So what a relay does on, on a vending machine is it acts kind of like a light switch. Uh, so imagine if these, this white and red wire here is your finger, uh, your hand, and this basically turns a light switch on and off. That's what these two wires do. There's 24 volts that get sent down here into this relay, turns the power on when there's power coming on there, and then these two terminals here and here basically pass the uh, current from one end to the other. So kind of like passing the current from your light switch up to the light bulb when this switch is on. And then when we remove the 24 volt power from this white and red wire here, the light switch turns off and there's no more current going through here. So this machine happens to have two of these relays. Uh, now, a Roll 650, uh, if it was ordered new from the factory, you can have what we call a heater kit installed on it. And one of these relays is the heater kit, and one of them is for the refrigeration assembly. So we got to determine which one is which. So uh, you could, uh, the compressor disconnected. These are the compressor lines right here. So these two wires here would plug into the terminals of here and here, or we plugged into the terminal of here and here. So which one is which? Well, we got a uh, real quick one way of doing it. We could just plug this in and determine uh, which relay was working. So the Royal 650 on the control board actually has a, an ability to allow us to test these relays. So we need to fire off the compressor relay, figure out which one is which, and that will let us know uh, which one we need to plug in these wires to. So to do that, we need to go over to the control board. So I'm gonna stand back up here and we're going to go ahead and turn the power on. Push the fuse in, which is gonna give me power to the machine. And that means our control board should now turn on. So let's go ahead and close this up. Matter of fact, there it is. So we're, the control board's booting up at this point and it's gonna kick out any sort of errors we have. It's the first time boot up. All right, okay, so ice cold. So no errors we've got, we're good to go here. So let me open the door up a little bit. All right, so there's our first error once I pull the door away, which is this little, uh, we call a door switch down here. So when this door is closed, the switch gets pushed in and puts the board into uh, sales mode. When the door is open, allows the board to go into service mode. So that's what we want to make sure we're on. So let's go ahead and put this door over here like this. There we are. I got a couple of errors here. I don't care about these errors right now. There's the door. Obviously, the door was open for too long. Bill acceptor and fridge. So, hey, we, we got the refrigeration relay is not plugged in. Perhaps we got the fridge relay error. Okay, so, I'm going to press button one. All right, so I got $1.25. There we go, ice cold. Good. Now, let me know button one works. So, we need to get into mode. So, to get into mode, so we press this button one time. Boop, there we go. Come around to the front. We should have cash error on the display, which we've got cash. Okay, so what that means is we got cash, so we can cycle the menu. So what I'm gonna look for is F-R-I-G, which is a fridge uh, section of the menu and that allows us to get to uh, the relay test. So if I press selection button one, top row right hand side, we can cycle the menu. I gotta make sure we press it nice and hard. There we are, there's sale, there's card, there is top, there's uh, for free vending, there's our error codes, there's test, price, space to sales, set depth, configurations, economy, coin payout, tube fill, uh, don't forget what that means, and SDIS, STCL, T time function, there we are, F-R-I-G, short for fridge. All right, so we got the F-R-I-G there. All right, so to enter anything, we gotta use our enter key, as I said earlier, is our number three. 
button, which is top row middle button. That's why I press this. Let's go ahead and press that once. So we should be entering fridge, and the first thing we should come up is E and B. All right. Oh, looks like our number three button isn't working. All right, so we need to track that down. So let's figure out what that is. So more often than not, on these live fronts, the way these buttons work, there's actually a connection on the back of the switch. So I'm going to need to remove this panel here to get to the selection button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video uh, and get this camera onto a tripod so we can uh, remove this panel and figure out what our issues are. All right, so what I've done here is I've removed the uh, Phillips head screw to this panel there, and I've just loosened the one over here. As you can see, they're kind of eyelets, allows me to lift this up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lift this up real quick, and we're gonna let that hang down. And that's gonna give us access to our selection buttons. So cool thing here is we've got some labels. So here is a button. Uh, let's go ahead and move this up so you can see just a little bit better. Let's adjust that, there we go. So uh, we've got button two, there's three, and there's four. So this is a button we're having an issue with. So let's see if we can kind of zoom in just a little bit there. All right. So this is the button we're having a problem with. So oh, I can see the issue right there. That's kind of clipped loose. And sometimes if you bang these um, uh, buttons or customers will bang the fronts of the buttons, they will pop these little plungers off their little mounting brackets. So on these Royal 650 live fronts, we can actually wiggle, grab this, and pop the assembly. There we go. So there we are, there's the problem. So this is the mounting point for the cherry switch. So this is a cherry switch, micro switch. And when the cursor presses on the button, which is these two pieces here, the but these will these plunger pieces will actually go forward. So I'm just gonna kind of focus on that. There we are. So these will pull forward when the uh, button is pressed, and those points will then basically click onto that little actuator right there. So uh, this actuator here will get pushed in whenever the cusp presses the button. So the reason why it wasn't working because this was not mounted on correctly. So to mount this, we've got two holes here. One, two. These little points here, one, two. So we're gonna put these little pins into the mounting bracket here. So let's just turn this upside down. So we're luckily enough, we got a little discolorization that lets us know, hey, that's where it's gotta go. So do that, just kind of get that locked into place here. Again, I'm doing this behind a camera. So it should vary, there we go. There we are. This is all on correctly. So this will go into the hole here. These little white plungers will press up against the actuator, which is this piece right there. So let's go ahead and push that in and lock in place. There we go. So that's locked in place. And that should, uh, hopefully number three will work now. So we can uh, go ahead and set up and see if we can get into our FRIG mode to test those relays. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick here and uh, get that set up real quick. All right, I've got the uh, panel back on. Let me just go ahead and zoom out here. So the panel's back on, and now we're gonna get and test those relays. So again, button selection button three wasn't working, so I'm actually timed out. So if I close around here and take a look, you can see I'm back to ice cold, which means I am now out of service mode. So we need to get back into service mode. So the boards will time out over time. So I'm gonna press this uh, mode button like this. And then here we are, we've got cache. So that lets me know I'm inside the mode. If I'm gonna press and hold selection button one or keep tapping button one until I get to that F R I G option. There's time and there's F R I G. So that's sort for fridge. So we can now enter that. So I fixed selection button three. So that's our enter key. So if I press selection button three, we should get E and B on the display. There we are, there's an E and B. Now what I'm looking for is relay test. So we're gonna look for R E L Y. So button one, So we get to R E L Y. There we are, relay. So there we go, relays. Then I'm gonna press selection button three, that's top row, middle button. Press that, and there we go. We got the fan relay. So I can test open the and close a fan relay here. If it had a fan relay, it does not. Uh, I'll go ahead and press this button again. There's a light relay. 
There is our heater relay. So again, we had that relay down there that says one of them is for the heater, one is for the compressor. I'm concerned with the compressor, but this is heater or HTR. And again, that is a T. That is the only way to make a T on a seven segment LED. That is not a broken E. Uh, that is a T. So we go ahead and press button one again to advance forward. There we are, CMPR, compressor. This allows me to test the compressor relay. So I'm going to tap selection button three, top row, middle button, press that one time. There we are. So I've got compressors off. So I'm going to press button one to put for compressor on. All right, so the compressor is on, and then I'm going to tap the number three selection button to engage this. All right, there we go. I actually heard a click. It may not have picked up on the microphone, but there was actually a little click. So we are now in compressor on area. So with that, one of these relays down here is, has actually been turned on or is now in an open state. So we're gonna grab a trusty voltmeter and then we can test the open state. Now, of course, yes, I could take these wires here and plug, plug them in here individually and see if the compressor came on. But what if the compressor didn't work? So this is, I'm just gonna go that extra step to make sure that you know, these are open without relying on the compressor to work. I can check with the voltmeter to see if this is actually in an open state or closed state, or if this is in an open or closed state. So let me grab my voltmeter. I'm gonna to try to put this on a tripod so you can kind of see how this works. So what we're gonna do, so a quick overview, is we are going to, a voltmeter, or we're going to test uh, the uh, continuity between this terminal and that terminal. Again, it's gonna be between this terminal and that terminal, and we'll check the continuity between this terminal and that terminal to see which one is open and which one is closed at this current time. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick, get the tripod set up, and uh, we'll get to work here. I've got the tripod set up here, so I'm gonna grab my voltmeter, and I do have a video on the top five tools that every vendor should have whenever they go service or, op or fill their uh, vending machine. So in that video, I do talk about having a voltmeter, um, and especially ones that actually got a continuity test. So uh, please check that video out. I'll uh, put a link up here at the top somewhere. But uh, so with my trusty voltmeter, I'm gonna go ahead and set this, to set this to continuity, and that is the diode symbol here right there with a diode and a little audio symbol. What that does is allows me to check to make sure, see this is open. If I take these two probes here and I touch them together, I get a tone. So that lets me know that there is a connection between these two points. So I have no connection, connection. So we can probe, and we'll start with this one here. Again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two uh, terminals here. I'm going to probe them. Again, there's no electricity. The only electricity that's coming down here is 24 volts. There's no current coming through here except with what I'm going to be sending when I put these probes in there. So I'm going to take terminal number one like this and I'm going to keep the camera in view and I'm going to do that and hey, I've got no continuity, no sound. Make sure terminals are connected. Yep. Okay, so no continuity. So that is not open. So this could possibly be the heater relay. Let's grab this other relay. I'm going to go ahead and probe. This terminal here, again, it doesn't matter which one's, which uh, the red one's going to or which one the black one's going to. But I'm gonna go ahead and probe that. Hey, I got tone. Okay, so I'm just let go. I'm taking this terminal, let's check it again. Excellent. So that means I've got continuity here. So that's, uh, so this means that this is their compressor relay because I was opening the compressor relay. So we can double check our work. That is correct, it's good. So this is the compressor relay. So we can now go and turn the compressor relay off and if we come back to here, this relay will be uh, in the closed state. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I'm gonna keep the camera focused on that, come around and I'm going to tap number three. I'm gonna turn the compressor off. All right, there, I just turned the compressor off come back around here and if I probe this, we'll probably won't have any continuity again so you can see what I'm doing on the camera. Again, I'm taking the probe, putting it into this terminal here. Let's see, like that. And that terminal there and I've got no tone. This, this uh, relay is closed. So we know, one, this relay is opening and closing, which is good to know. So when we hook up the compressor assembly, we're, we're gonna be fine. So uh, we can then just very easily take this, plug this in here, and uh, get that in there. 
I'm gonna plug this wire in here. Again, these are the lines for the compressor. And let's get that plugged in. It's nice and tight. All right, so that's not good as breaking. This is an old relay here. All right. So we've got that in there. So now I actually should be able to turn the compressor on this over here. So just kind of move this over a bit. I'm going to actually take this off of the tripod. So I got, the, I got this relay, I had this relay plugged in now. And what we can do is we're going to then see if this compressor turns on. I've got the compressor plugged in down here. Uh, disregard my temporary wiring here for the power cord, but the compressor is plugged in right there. So let's open that relay and see if that compressor comes on. So come back around in the front. Let me go ahead and turn this out of the way. Get a tripod out of the way. So I'm back to compressor off. Come on, let's focus, focus. All right, compressor off. And I'm gonna press selection button one to go to compressor on. I'm going to then press selection button three. There we go, compressor just came on. You should be able to hear that. And yep, that compressor's on and running. So we know that this relay here is working. Um, let's go ahead and turn that off here. So that relay here is working. It's opening and closing. This compressor came on and we're gonna go ahead and turn that off come back around to the front of the machine. We're at compressor on. I'm going to hit the button one to go to compressor off. Actually tap it. Button one to go to compressor off, then tap selection button three to turn it off. And there we go. That compressor is off. That relay closed. So compressor is no longer on. So you can actually see the fan kind of turning in there. So then we know that this is the heater relay. We don't need this. We do need to keep this, so I'll mount this up here. Um, I kind of did kind of crack the mounting point, but these things are usually held on by one screw anyway, so I will remove this, and I'll also go through here and probably take out this wiring, uh, not to confuse the customer of what that is, but uh, we'll get that uh, taken care of. So I hope you found that useful. That kind of shows you, uh, we found, we found two, two issues. We had two um, relays in the machine. One was a heater, one was a, a compressor relay. So you learned how to figure out which one of those relays was a compressor relay. And also we found that that selection button three had a bad connection on the cherry switch. Uh, mounting point. So we fix that as well. So there's just some of the small little things. And again, this stuff is not difficult to do. Um, if you just take a little bit of patience and kind of get an understanding of how all these components work together, take your time. Uh, just about any person that gets into vending uh, business with a little bit of time and effort can repair their machines and keep their machines up in operation. Mm -hmm.